very much. You know, in this new year, many people have resolved to put their finances at the forefront, especially in these tough economic times. Joining me now this morning to help us set realistic financial goals and stick to them is financial expert Karen Emma. Good morning. Good morning. Now, tell me a little bit about this. First thing people need to do is evaluate what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. Absolutely. How do they know what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong? You know, past experience is the best way to know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong mm -hmm. and to not make the same mistakes over and over again year to year. It's a new year, so it's important that, you know, people evaluate the things of the past. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest misconceptions are that in the past, you know, people assume that things are good, and when they're good, they stay good. And right. when they're bad, you know, they assume they're going to stay bad. They crawl into a hole like a turtle, and they're like, oh, I'm afraid of everything, right? Exactly. So it's important to be proactive and to make sure that you take control of your finances and that it's not emotional. Now, you talk here about the four money mistakes to avoid let people with realistic goals. Right. Talk to me about those. Um, you know, first and foremost, again, it's not making mistake number one, which is assuming that things stay the same. Mm -hmm. It's important that you're proactive and you take responsibility for that and that you're not emotional about where you're putting your money. Well, it's hard not to be emotional, you know what I mean? <laughs> it I is. mean, when you're looking at the stock market and what's happened over the last year and you're afraid you're going to lose your job and you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's hard to be like that. It's hard. And this is a difficult year. Many people have gone through job losses, divorce, you know, disabilities, death. You know, there are big things that change. So it's important that you look at those, you write down a realistic goals for yourself. One th year, three years, five years <clears throat> where you'd like to see yourself in the future right. and then also to write down a realistic budget start there now one of the things you say is start saving your leftovers and we're not talking about the meatloaf right exactly and most people make the mistake of they only save what they have as extra mm -hmm. you know right it's important to gather all your information write down a budget for yourself and Pick a fixed dollar amount. A fixed dollar amount, it's very simple today to have your account set up so that what's in your checking account as opposed to just saving your leftover money mm -hmm. or what you think is extra, save a fixed dollar amount and you can have that moved automatically these days to start an emergency fund. Well, that's the next thing we're talking about is an emergency fund. How important is it? How much should you have saved? Right. And I think, again, the biggest mistake people made was assuming that things were always good mm -hmm. and everybody overlooked an emergency fund. First and foremost, Everybody needs to have one. Those are the things that protect you when big things come up, um, especially through the last year and a half. And they also make sure that, you know, if expenses come up, you have that money to pay for things rather than relying on credit cards and things like that. Give me a dollar figure or a monthly figure. Three months saved, six months saved, a year saved? Um, at least three months saved. If you're working and you do have a job, you need to have at least three months of your salary saved. Um, if obviously you've been out of work or there's bigger things, at least six months. And quickly. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Right, and that's the most important thing. I think a lot of people overlook their finances or are scared to talk about them. You know, it's important to ask for help. Find somebody that you trust, um, interview people that are out there, and make sure you're comfortable so that you can make the right decisions and they give you an honest opinion to align your goals and your life goals with what you have planned. That's super. Karen, thank you so much. Good advice as always. And, of course, we'll post more of Karen's tips at foxprovidence.com. Elizabeth? Still